satellites spot a shocking phenomenon as solar winds send invisible shock waves zooming past our Earth. This is a Sputnik news from NASA. New data captured by NASA's Magnetospheric Multiscale Spacecraft, MMS for short. A constellation of four satellites, they're packed with advanced sensors, which was sent into orbit in 2015, and it did this to, uh, it was, this was to study the magnetic fields surrounding our Earth. NASA's MMS satellites successfully measured an interplanetary shock, a phenomenon involving the transfer of charged solar particles without bouncing directly into each other, prompting a wave-like spread across our solar system and even beyond that. This is from our sun, even beyond our solar system, a shock wave. This is uh, something totally new. The event was finally observed after years of space-based observations and decades of theorizing about its possible existence. According to the space agency, the wave-like energy transfer was demonstrated to occur when a patch of fast solar wind overtakes a slower patch with energy transfer taking place through electromagnetic fields. MMS spacecraft searching for phenomena for years were finally able to spot it after aligning at just the right place in space at just the right moment in January 2018, observing the collisionless shock, collisionless shock involving two separate sets of ions or streams of solar wind using this high resolution sensors packed aboard each of the individual satellites. And to observe this particular event, the spacecraft used its fast plasma investigation sensors to measure passing ions and electrons, with the sensors capable of doing up so up to six times per second, an important feature since such a collisionless shock occurs in just half a second. Quote, look at the data from January 8. The scientists noticed a clump of ions from the solar wind shortly after they saw a second clump of ions created by ions already in the area that had bounced off the shock as it passed by. Analyzing the second po uh, po population, the scientists found evidence to support a theory of energy transfer first posed in the 1980s. And quote, this is what NASA explained in recent press releases. An international team of nearly two dozen physicists and astronomers led by Dr. Ian Cohen of the Applied Physics Laboratory at Johns Hopkins University published a thorough study on this phenomena in a recent article in the Journal of Geophysical Research, with researchers building on the work published by the astrophysicists hypothesizing on the existence of the interplanetary shock phenomena since the early 1980s. According to NASA, scientists now hope that to use uh, this MMS to spot other weaker, much rarer, and less well understood interplanetary shocks, because such interplanetary shocks are a form of space weather found across the universe, including around other stars, inside supernova, and among black holes. The phenomenon is expected to help scientists worldwide gain a greater understanding of such phenomena across the universe. This was launched in 2015 at a $1.1 billion cost. The MMS mission was originally intended as a two-year project, but has since remained operation well past its expiry date through their four years of operations, holding in tight formation to allow for a 3D mapping of space. These satellites have helped astronomers to analyze the dispersion of energy caused by solar storms and to study shifts in Earth's magnetosphere. And of course, we have to remember Earth uh, that uh, space is not empty. It's full of a matter that is like an energy and we have energy waves going across uh, from one planet, one bo celestial body to the other. It's like the neurons of a brain. That's what it looks like. They're all connected. All these celestial bodies are collected electrically one with the other. In fact, it's plasma that fills the whole universe. And uh, it's an electric universe, as we know. And this plasma, the Greeks used to call ether. They knew that it was, uh, the universe was not empty. It was not a vacuum. It was filled with what they called the ether.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.